God speaks to your heart. And so listen, God's showing you something because of who you are. Glory to God. He wants you to know. I said, Bishop, I, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little fearful. Well, I, I got good news for you. There's safety. I know in the midst of, of, of counterfeit times, fake times, in the midst of, of, uh, uh, of deception, in the midst of, of, of all of this stuff that looks real, that really ain't real, I know you, wanna, you, you want some safety. You want an anchor that is sure. My brother and sister, you got it. Where is it? It's in the Word. It's in the word because heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will what? His word won't pass away. His word won't, won't fail you because you can't depend on how you feel. You got to have something more objective than how you feel. You can't depend upon what so-and-so said. You can't depend upon sweet sounding stuff because see that's a part of the deception today. You'll have folk come and they sound legitimate. They sound sweet. Oh it sounds real real good. Oh it touches my feeling. It makes me feel a certain kind. But you can't you, you can't depend on that. that. That ain't solid enough. You need to take it to something that's, that's universal. That's timeless. You need to take it to the word. Because the issue is not what Ronnie Crudup said or, or any preacher or any bishop or, or any apostle. The issue is what does God say in his word? And I tell folks, and listen, all the time, at the end of the day, it's about the, the, the final authority is the word. It's not a person. The final authority is what? It's the word. And if, if what is happening doesn't line up with the word, then it's not God. 